Hi everyone, this is Pace Toad. Um, today I'm going to show you the actual tutorial of the Beecraft 2.0.0 release. Let's get started. So the first um, item that was added to this version of the game is the wrench. Uh, if I go to the crafting table with iron and stone gear, I'm going to be able to craft that new wrench item. And this item is going to be the only one now able to change the orientation of objects, such as um, pipes, for example, at least Beecraft objects. If I'm going there, um, as you can see, we've got one wooden pipe and one iron pipe, and right-clicking on them doesn't allow me anymore to change the input here or the output there. I need the wrench to do that here. Are there. This is supposed to help creating complicated um, structures where before it was very easy to make mistakes and to change orientation just by placing a block next to it. Now uh, it won't be the case anymore because only the wrench is able to change these things. That works for pipes but other blocks can be uh, moved as well. If I'm going up there you can see that I've got one builder and one template drawing table and if I'm not happy with the orientation with the range I can change it. And I'm going to be able to switch from various possible orientation on an um, engine as well. Engines which I am just going to introduce to you. So that's obviously the major addition to this release of Buildcraft engines. Uh, in the previous releases machines were powered by redstone current that's not the case anymore. Now every Buildcraft machine is powered exclusively with um, an engine. So let's have a look at them. The first engine that you can craft is the redstone engine. So it's actually uh, going to be operating out of redstone but um, it's going to work a little bit differently. We're going to see that soon. The second kind of engine that you can create is the um, steam engine um, the piston as well here we go and the last one, the most powerful one is made out of iron and this is called the combustion engine so we go, these are the three kinds of engine that can be crafted in this release. Uh, let's start playing with them. So as I said the engines are the only things able to operate devices in Buildcraft 2.0.0 uh, except if you want to change settings in the configuration files but that's the way it's supposed to be played now. So if I place this first thing here which is um, a simple redstone engine and let's put some blocks over there. Now if I activate this guy, it is going to operate the wooden pipe and slowly um, extract objects from it. Um, that's not very efficient, it's going to be slow, but at least uh, this is going to work without any additional power. Uh, it would work the same way for the obsidian pipe over there, but I want to show you something else on the obsidian pipe. Let's remove that guy and place something a little bit more powerful, which is this um, engine over there, the steam engine. So the steam engine needs something to smelt. Uh, I can place planks, I can place anything that could be um, in a regular furnace. Here I'm just going to place a few pieces of coal and in order to activate the engine I'm going to need um, redstone activation. So the first thing that you can see here is that it goes a lot faster than the previous engine. It is extracting stacks as well, not just items one by one because it's more powerful. So that's one way of using this thing. The other way, let's get the call out of the way, is to place it next to um, vacuum pipe or obsidian pipe. Uh, let's do that here, for example. Same thing, placing coal and then redstone next to it. So now, because this is more powerful than the previous um, 
engine, this obsidian pipe is not going is now going to be able to extract object from a lot further in the map. Uh, if I send something there, as you can see, it was able to extract it even though that was too that was a lot further than usually. Um, let's get some of the things here. See, I'm like I'm like I'm like two blocks away here, and still the um, vacuum pie is, is able to extract objects from that far. That thanks to for that's thanks to this um, new engine to its power. Now, one thing to keep in mind when operating this thing is that they gather power and they keep that power in. Uh, it starts blue, then uh, if it doesn't release enough power, it's going to turn um, green, then yellow, then red. The good thing is that uh, the more power you have stored in the engine, uh, the faster it's going to be. The bad thing is that if you putting too much power in it, it's going to explode. And we have an example of that here. Um, it is possible to have engines powering another engine. And here I've got four guys powering this central engine over here, but this one doesn't have anything to do. So the power isn't going to be released anywhere, it's just going to be stored on the engine. And as you will see, um, it exploded because it couldn't release the power and it uh, was just too much energy uh, for it. So just be careful when you're using these powerful engines to make something out of them and to watch the color uh, because if it's going to be red uh, something bad is going to happen. Now we've presented the two basic engines. Uh, the one that I haven't presented so far is the um, iron one or combustion engine. So it's pretty close to this one in the sense that it does require um, something to operate and this thing is going to be um, oil. As you can see here I've got storage for oil. So luckily in this demo I happen to have found this spot here. This is a medium deposit of oil. There is actually an oil bubble down um, below on the ground. This one has spawned randomly. You can find a um, small deposit of oil in desert area and massive deposit of oil sometimes on the map. But this is just a, a medium one. It's good enough for my purpose and I'm going to get some oil and with this oil I'm powering this engine over here. As you can see the oil has been sent directly to uh, the engine and I'm not going I'm not going to be able to power it and operate it. And as you can see it goes a lot faster than the previous one. And it's going to be uh, much more powerful as well. Knowing that uh, I'm actually going to use these engines to power a quarry. Um, because the, the quarry is the object that consumes the most power at the moment. And if we look um, a little bit further here, I've got this massive quarry. And I've placed three engines below it to power it. So the bottom one is providing power to the middle one, which is then providing power to the top one, which is releasing all the power to the quarry. And as you can see there, uh, the rate at which objects are extracted is a lot higher than uh, the regular quarry that uh, was available in previous version of Buildcraft. This is because I've got three engines working on this. And around these engines, around this system, I've built a pipe mechanism, and this is an automatically fueling, not, not an automatic fueling mechanism. And here on the yellow end, I'm sending oil buckets. And as you can see here on this one, the empty buckets are going to go on the green side and on the white side I'm going to send oil buckets. So basically all oil buckets that are going to come from here are going to get straight there and be sent to these engines and then they're going to be extracted from these pipes uh, as soon as they 
provided power to the engines and going back to me there next to the oil source. Now it's getting dark. Um, let me just go to sleep real quick. Ah, not yet. Okay. It's not dark enough yet. Here we go. Okay, and I'm going to use that mechanism. So, on this chest, I'm gathering empty buckets. I'm just going to, oops, actually, that's not where I want to place this. This is good here. And then, getting the buckets and I'm going to gather some of this oil. Um, by the way, as you can see, oil is a finite resource. It doesn't automatically uh, regenerate like water. It's more like um, um, like lava in this regard. So there is a finite amount of oil in this deposit over here. Now I'm just placing the buckets here. And as you can see, they are automatically extracted by this system and they are going to be sent to the engine over there. We can do the same with that second line of buckets. Grab some oil, maybe the up there. Okay. and place them in the input chest again. Now if we go to the destination as you can see the buckets have been emptied by the engines and are now coming back to um, the location next to the deposit so that I'm able to fill them again. Okay, well, that's it for this uh, Beatcraft demo and tutorial. Thanks, thanks a lot for having watched that uh, video. I hope to talk to you soon, guys, and to show you um, new features of the game. But for now, thanks very much. Bye-bye. Uh,